Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I thought I would share with you some movies that are on my Halloween watch list. It seems like Halloween starts earlier and earlier every single year and I start thinking about Halloween movies in August and then in September I start watching some Halloween movies and I start watching some more Halloween themed movies with my wife and so I thought I would share a few of those with you today. Some of these are movies that I watch every single year and I'll mention those and then some of them are um, movies that I'm exploring or learning for the first time. Not necessarily for the first time but it's probably a rewatch for me. Uh, I should mention too that I don't really, um, I'm, not a, uh, I'm not an expert in the horror genre by any means um, and I generally like a little bit lighter type horror movies, um, some more uh, comedic uh, type movies as well as uh, as you know from the channel, you know that I'm a fan of uh, 70s movies, so I like horror movies from the 70s, uh, but not so much movies that are um, recent um, horror movies. But if you have suggestions, feel free to leave me a comment below uh, on something that you really liked uh, to watch. I do find some new favorites now and again. And so, um, so let me share some of these with you. The first one is The Ghost and Mr. Chicken. Now, I watched this, I had seen this years ago, but I watched it again uh, last year and I'm gonna watch it again this year. This is a great little comedy with Don Knotts and just showing the front and the back of these as I go here. Um, really really funny, really great performances uh, here and just a light sort of a Halloween themed movie and so if you haven't seen this one this is on my watch list. This will be on my watch list every year so I'm gonna be watching this one as we get into October. The other thing, and maybe I've mentioned this in another video, is the Hotel Transylvania series. There's three of these movies. I'm showing Hotel Transylvania 3, which my wife and I pretty much agree this is probably the best one. I like the first one also, but three is really good. There's the front and the back of that. And, um, you know, these are really light animated movies. And I really, this really gets me into the spirit of the season um, and, uh, you know, gets me ready for fall and things like that. So. Uh, I really like this one, and I like all three actually, but three is probably my favorite, and then number one, and then uh, Hotel Transylvania 2. Um, the next one that we started watching already is The Nightmare Before Christmas. Now, this is kind of a crossover between <laughs> Halloween and Christmas, and again, I'm a big fan of Christmas, so I like to get into Christmas movies uh, also at this point. Uh, time of year. So even even before Halloween, I might actually watch a Christmas movie, which I know may be rare, but if you watch a Christmas movie around this time, let me know. Sometimes I'll put on It's a Wonderful Life or Miracle on 34th Street or a movie like this that's a crossover uh, type of movie, and we really like this too, and uh, we haven't seen it in many years, so we're re-watching this one. Moving on to some more serious things, um, we started watching this last year, and we're going to continue with it, The Evil Dead and Evil Dead 2. And so Evil Dead we liked, and uh, there's the front and the back. Now this has, I'm trying to see if this has some extra features on it. I think this is pretty much just the movies here. Uh, but uh, we liked it. Oh no, there's special features for both films, archival featurettes, behind the scenes footage, cast and crew commentary, trailers, and more. So this is on Blu-ray. Uh, well, these are all Blu-rays that I've shown you so far. And um, we're looking forward to re-watching The Evil Dead and then watching Evil Dead 2. Now, I know there's more movies in this series, so let us or let me know in the comments below if you have another favorite in this series or another Sam Raimi film that you like. Um, next up is the Scream series. Now, this is Scream 4. I just ordered the Scream 1, 2, and 3 re-release, I think it is, on Blu-ray. Here's the back of this one. Um, and so that's not going to arrive until next week. Uh, but we have watched 1, 2, and 3. I really liked Scream 1 and 2, and then Scream 3 was just okay. There were some good parts in it, some good reveals near the end, but I like the series, and Scream 4 is great. I think this is a great reboot. And of course, we're getting ready for the, well, it's going to be quite a while now, but Scream 5 was announced, and I think that's going to happen in 2022. So, um, But I really like this. I think this is really creative. It's very referential as well on horror movies in general. So even in the first one, you see... Uh, Clips from the movie Halloween as an example. There's references to Psycho and Frankenstein even. So I like how this movie or this particular series is referencing other horror movies. And it is a bit, it is a slasher movie, but I feel like it's a little bit lighter maybe than some of the, some of the more graphic movies that you see today. So we really like this. And this, I should say, this has a feature commentary with director Wes Craven. 
and cast Emma Roberts, uh, Hayden uh, Panettiere, and Nev Campbell. Nev Campbell is in all of these, which is great too. There's deleted and extended scenes. There's an alternate opening, an extended ending, a gag reel, and the making of Scream 4. The Scream 1, 2, and 3 uh, series, which is coming next week, I think it was less than $20 on Amazon, has all three movies plus some uh, another two movies that talk about uh, the making of Scream and things like that. So we're looking forward to seeing those. Again, we've seen 1, 2, and 3, and uh, Scream 4 we're working through right now. So this is a new watch for my wife and I this year. We generally pick a few movies uh, that we haven't seen in a while or that or haven't seen at all for the new Halloween season, and that and this and this is one of them. I'm going to finish off with some classic horror movies. This is a this is a collection that I picked up last year, Hammer Horror, uh, the eight film collection, and this was recommended to me by Aaron Penn. Aaron Penn's got a great channel where he does live videos, but he's doing some recorded videos now as well. And uh, this, was a, this was one of his recommendations. And when I was younger, I remember seeing Hammer Horror films, although I, don't, uh, I didn't recognize them at the time as Hammer Horror for whatever reason, but I remember seeing some of these when I was younger. Last year, I watched Brides of Dracula, The Curse of the Werewolf, Night Creatures, The Phantom of the Opera, and Paranoiac. And this year, I'm gonna be watching The Kiss of the Vampire, Nightmare, and The Evil of Frankenstein. And I may be watching more of these Hammer Horror films. These. These films are more my style, and um, I just really love a lot of the actors in here. Peter Cushing, of course, uh, Christopher Lee, and many, many others. And so this is a great set. If you don't have this, I believe it's still available on Amazon, and it's a really great uh, set. And thanks again to Aaron for recommending this uh, because it's a great um, collection. This is also new. This is, this is part of the uh, Universal Horror Collection. This is the Frankenstein Movies. And my wife plans to read, I think, the Frankenstein book. Um, and then we're going to watch some of these movies. And I'm sure I've seen some of these uh, in past years, but I haven't watched them in a while. So we're really excited to go through these. I'll just read the list of the movies that are on the back here. Frankenstein from 1931, The Bride of Frankenstein, 1935, Son of Frankenstein, The Ghost of Frankenstein, Frankenstein Meets the Wolfman, House of Frankenstein. Can I say Frankenstein again <laughs> any more times? House of Dracula. And Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein. I'm a big Abbott and Costello fan, too. Um, so, And this has a lot of bonus features on it, too. The Frankenstein Files, How Hollywood Made a Monster documentary. She's Alive, Creating the Bride of Frankenstein. Karloff, The Gentle Monster. Frankenstein Archives, The Bride of Frankenstein Archives. <laughs> it's nice they have a Bride of Frankenstein Archives. Boo, a short film. Abbott and Costello meet the monsters. And four feature commentaries. So this is a great set to pick up as well. And I know there's a number of these for different... Universal Monsters, and uh, so we're really excited to explore these for uh, because we haven't seen them in many, many years. Um, so, And finally, one movie that I'm going to re be re revisiting this year is Dracula, one of the original Dracula movies. This is, um, uh, what do I want to say, Bela Lugosi. <laughs> I should say I picked these up at Best Buy a few years ago. These are steelbooks. I'm going to pull the cover off this. This has a, a clear cover on it. And then it's just the steel book um, right here, which is really very cool cover art there. So this is Dracula from 1931. Haven't seen it in a long time. I'm really excited to watch it. Uh, let's see on the inside here. We'll show that, which is a really great, some great art here on the inside of it. There's Dracula there. Bela Lugosi, classic role for Bela Lugosi. Um, and also I'll read some of the special features on here. I really like these uh, steel books. Not sure if Best Buy is offering these anymore, but uh, I, I picked up a couple of them. I think I picked up The Invisible Man as well. I didn't pick them all up, but uh, this is one of the ones I wanted to pick up. So this has the Dracula. These are some of the bonus features on the back here, which is listed. And Dracula, the Spanish version with an introduction, The Road to Dracula, Lugosi, The Dark Prince, Dracula, The Restoration, Monster Tracks, Dracula Archives, and Alter and an alternate score by Philip Glass. Oh, that's going to be cool. Uh, performed by the Kronos Quartet. Feature commentaries and a trailer gallery. So I'm looking forward to revisiting this one. Again, I've seen it years and years ago. So, so it's nice to revisit some of these classics. Um, and that's what's on my watch list for the time being. Now, generally what happens is as we get closer to Halloween, I start to watch more of... Uh, uh, horror movies from the 70s, like Halloween 1978, The Thing, etc. 
um, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, the, the remake from 1978 is one of the ones I watch every year too. Uh, but let me know in the comments below what you like to watch around Halloween. Have you started to prepare for Halloween? Are you watching any Halloween movies now or do you wait until the beginning of October? Um, leave me a comment below or a question and uh, we can keep the conversation going there. Uh, I also want to uh, say uh, thank you for all the comments and questions and corrections even too. Uh, as I'm making some of these videos, uh, some of them like this one is going to be unedited. So if I say something incorrectly or if I make a, uh, an incorrect reference, please correct me. I really appreciate that. I don't always get everything right. Uh, there's so many things to learn about uh, films. I always feel like I'm a little bit behind in many cases because I may have a huge watch list of movies to, to uh, see, but there's a lot of other things I need to see, TV shows and uh, things like that. So I tend to uh, have a little bit of a watch list in, this, in, the, in the Halloween uh, season, but uh, for the most part, I'm watching TV shows, I'm watching things on Netflix, I'm watching uh, shows on Amazon Prime, watching some of the Criterion movies as well. So there's a lot of things to watch and study and sometimes I don't always get it right. So feel free to correct me in the comments below as well. Uh, but leave a comment or a question and I'd really appreciate that. If you like this video, click on like, uh, that would be great. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, I would really appreciate that. Uh, I hope everyone's having a good start to this Halloween season and I sincerely hope that everyone is safe and well, and I'll talk to you soon.